Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day before starting the video. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Days of our lives spoilers recap for Tuesday, March 28, reveals that Rafe Hernandez, Gail and Jering, brought Jada Hunter, Elia Cantu, some real estate listings for Talia Hunter, Akatra Civilian. So Jada expressed her gratitude before Polina Price. Jackie Harry, barged in the Salem PD. Polina complained since Sean Brady, Brandon Beamer, had taken her request for discretion a little too seriously and had done nothing about Sloan Peterson, Jessica Surfity. After Polina griped about the break-in at her office and the mess left behind, she insisted Sloan was responsible. However, Jada and Rafe pointed out that they couldn't arrest Sloan without proof. Paulina remained adamant that the cops had to do something since Sloan was making threats and going off the rails. In the end, Rafe and Jada assured Paulina that they'd at least take Sloan in for questioning and make sure she had some good answers. At the pub on Tuesday's Days episode, Sloan found Eric and expressed how upset she was about the lawsuit getting tossed out. Although Sloan insisted she was going to make Paulina and Channel Dupree, Raven Bowens, Pay, Eric thought she was out of options. Sloan refused to just let this go and was disappointed over not being able to put Eric's gallery in the Sweet Bits building. Eric was surprised that Sloan was worried about that, so she made it clear that Eric meant a lot to her. Although Sloan suggested putting up some of Eric's pictures at the pub and selling them directly to the customers, Eric scrapped that idea. Sloan wound up going online with Eric and helping him select two potential spaces for his gallery, which lifted her mood. In fact, Sloan wanted to have a steamy celebration at home with Eric, but her plans were derailed by Rafe and Jada's arrival. Jada and Rafe were there to take Sloan in for questioning about the incidents Polina had reported. In the town square on Tuesday's DOOL show, Channel praised Talia following her first day on the job at Sweet Bits. Although Channel really put Talia to the test, she admitted Talia had proven herself. Talia asked about Sloan's beef with Channel, who decided to be honest and spill the whole story about having an affair with Sloan's father, which led to the death of Sloan's mother before her dad drank himself to death. Talia got updates on all the failed ways Sloan had gone after revenge and had sympathy for Channel's side of the situation. Since Channel had been so honest, Talia decided to come clean as well and admit she was a doctor. Although Talia had tried to follow in her father's footsteps since he was her hero, she just wasn't excited about a medical career path. Talia was much more passionate about baking, but she also confessed to lying on her application. Unfortunately, Talia's experience at that New York bakery wasn't legit. Though Talia assured Channel that she went every day and bought menu items to reverse engineer at home. Although Channel disapproved of Talia's deception, she insisted Talia was way too talented to let go. That news thrilled Talia, who pulled Channel into a hug. Polina arrived moments later to sound the alarm about the break-in and the serious threat that Sloan posed. At the Dimmeray Mansion on Tuesday's Days episode, Nickel Walker, Ariane Zucker, assured E.J. Dimmeray, Dan Fear Eagle, that she was able to book a room at the Salem Inn under a fake name. Stefan Dimmeray, Brandon Barish, overheard E.J. and Nickel talking about catching someone in the act, but they played it off like they were discussing how they didn't want Lee Shin, Remington Hoffman, to catch on. Although Stefan was skeptical, E.G. insisted he was on his brother's side now and wanted to prove it to him. Since Stefan and Gabby had been apart for so long, this secret night together is what they deserved. Nicole told Stefan that it was his choice, so he ultimately got on board and waited while Nicole went to lure Gabby to the Salem Inn. The plan was for Stefan to join Gabby through a back entrance soon after. Once Nicole left, Stefan worried that Gabby wouldn't even listen to her since Nicole dumped Rafe. EJ handed over a burner phone and urged Stefan to text Gabby to get her on board. After a toast, EJ sent Stefan out to a car that was waiting for him and wished his brother luck. 
though he secretly felt Stefan's luck had run out. At home, Lee celebrated Gabby's successful pitch to Saxton's with her and tried to turn on the charm. When Nicole interrupted with a knock at the door, she claimed she heard about the potential Saxton's deal and wanted to make an offer on behalf of Basic Black. Both Lai and Gabby were suspicious, but Gabby got a text that told her to listen to Nicole. Gabby told Lai that she wanted to hear Nicole out and claimed she was going to have a drink with her. In the hallway on Tuesday's Day's episode, Nicole admitted this was really about Stefan and said she'd explain everything in the car. Lee moped alone until EJ showed up to reveal that Gabby was with Stefan right now. That led to EJ asking if Lee cared to do something about it. Back with Gabby, she walked in the suite that Nicole had set up. There were rose petals on the bed, as well as champagne nearby and bubble bath for the tub. Gabby was surprised over EJ's change of heart about his brother, but Nicole acted like EJ really did want to make things right with Stefan. As for Nicole, she insisted she was a romantic at heart. Once Stefan arrived, Nicole took that as her cue to leave and put the Do Not Disturb sign on the door handle. Gabby and Stefan couldn't believe they were finally alone as they shared a passionate kiss. Days of our lives spoilers say Nicole and EJ's scheme won't go according to plan, so stay tuned to Duo L. Thanks for watching this video, and please subscribe our Days of Our Lives Gossip YouTube channel for more update news.